Hey guys, so the expo is in about three weeks, which means we have a lot of work to do. Um, right now, we're going to work on upgrading the exoskeleton, uh, fixing a bunch of the problems that we noticed during the first test. For one, we have the ankle. It doesn't bend forwards enough, and it probably bends farther back than we need it to, which makes it a bit tricky to uh, squat down without losing your balance. So we're going to fix that. We're going to redesign the hip mount because we also don't have any flexibility. We can't lift our legs sideways right now. So again, we're gonna use these universal joints to create a hip joint mount on the side. From there, we're gonna actually build up that hip mount into a backpack frame. So it actually, I can actually wear the exoskeleton. And we're gonna have some arms that come down and basically become the shoulder straps and connect in. So, we're gonna get started. Unfortunately, we don't have a camera guide today. So we're just gonna do a time lapse of the build. And at the end, We'll show you what we made. So we've got the, I guess you'd call it the hip bracket welded together now, and as you can see, we actually have the universal joints on the hips now. So we'll actually have quite a bit of flexibility, so we should be able to run around in the exoskeleton much easier now. Let's keep working. Now in case I can't overcome my addiction to ice cream, we've actually made the hip mount adjustable for my expanding waistline. Alright, so one of the other issues we had with the original design was we didn't have the greatest ankle flexibility in that we couldn't bend our foot forwards enough and we probably had a bit too much bending backwards because we don't really need to do that. So what we've done is, this is actually the new leg joint, as you can see, we've cut an angle onto it, it's about 10 or 15 degrees. And what we'll actually do is we'll weld this onto here. Uh, this piece will get cut a bit shorter. And that means when you're standing straight, the ball joint will actually be on a slight angle backwards. This means you'll have more flexibility forwards and less backwards, which you don't really need. So let's put that together and see how it works. All right, so we've redesigned the hip mount. And as you can see, it's a bit stronger. We've gone with a straight 90 degree angle for the main weldment, but then we've added two smaller pieces to attach the belt onto. And the main reason we did this was to add the hip mounts right here, and then also we're going to be building up the back support from this weldman. So, once we finish those legs, we're gonna put it all together and try taking a little walk with it. All right, so we're gonna start building up the frame of the uh, exoskeleton, because what we're actually gonna try using is the back end of the tactical vest to actually use as the uh, backpack support. So as you can see, we can actually put metal bars up through this uh, webbing. But before we start welding, we're gonna have to take it apart again, so. So we finished welding the first part of the backpack frame together, and as you can see, the tack vest actually fits in between, and we've actually we've got two more support struts which are actually flexible going through the webbing, and there'll be another one attached across to hold it in place. So the nice thing with this is that means when you bend down, the tack vest can actually slide up and down a little bit, which gives you that bit of flexibility to make it more comfortable. So let's put this on. Attach the legs and see how it works. And the nice thing with the tactical vest is it's already got pockets for armor plating, so we can very easily 
make this bulletproof, which is pretty awesome. Feels like a backpack. Pulling a bit tight up here, but I think that's just because I haven't adjusted these properly. And we'll be sure to make a few modifications. But let's throw the legs on. Alright, so as you can see with these new hip joints, I can actually swing my legs to the side. And I have quite a bit more flexibility. Now the only thing is, since we're only connected to the ankle and the hip, the legs can kind of go like this. So we're going to have to somehow couple maybe the shin to my shin a bit better. Now you may notice, even when I'm standing up, they're bent. Um, we do still need to play with the length of um, these guys to adjust that. But we do want slightly bent because that will be stronger. Because you never really want it to be straight up. Of course, you can go backwards too, which would not be good. But you won't be able to do that once we fix the uh, ratchet attachment point. But, way more flexible than before, as you can see. Sideways and good. Can't really do a roundhouse kick. Yeah, as you, <laughs> we're gonna have to fix that because I don't wanna end up like Hammer Industries. <laughs> and of course, I'll be pinned in place as well. Anyways, that's what we got so far. Stay tuned for next week and the next update once we finish the back and start working on the upper body.